Hey there! Welcome to the Unreal Sound Designer YouTube channel. My name is Jay. I'm a sound designer for video games and today we're going to be talking about pre-production. So in the last video I showed you guys an Unreal Engine project that I'm going to be using for this video series that I'm doing right now. And today we're going to be talking about what will be the real first step at the moment that we're as sound designers working on a game, right? So let's say there's a new team of game developers out there and they're building a new game, they need some help with sound design, uh, all the audio things. They don't know anything about audio, so they're gonna let someone else do their thing, right? In this uh, fake project that we're talking about. So when we're working with sound, there's one very simple rule that we can follow at the moment of making things, and it's if it moves, it'll make a sound. Unless it's a ninja. So keeping that in mind, I can already tell a couple of things. We're gonna be needing character sounds, we're gonna be needing ambient sounds, we're gonna be needing weapon sounds, and probably we will also be needing a couple of other things that I haven't noticed yet, but I will be going through the level right now and just start making our list, right? So let's get back to Unreal real quick so that we can go check that out. So this is the Unreal Engine project that we were looking at last time, and in this hypothetical situation, the team's game is called Food Wars. It's gonna be a first person shooter. It's food themed and it's a take on capture the flag where my goal here is to go ahead and protect my giant potato and find the opposing team's giant potato and destroy it. I have this baguette that it's also a gun. It will shoot little potatoes. That's my potato that I have to protect. This is the opposing team. So we have a basic idea of what the game is gonna be like. Even if it's not fully fledged and, and built, I have a good idea of what it is, right? I can walk around the level, I can interact with things, if I shoot a character, they will die and fall and things get destroyed. It's something, it's working. Now we can start making our pre-production process in this case, since we already have the project at hand. Sometimes there won't be a project at hand, but we can start this process without it. In my case, I already have something built so I can at least have an idea of what exactly I'm gonna need. So let's go through that list. So now that I managed to explore the map a little bit, play the game, I can already make a list of sounds that I'm definitely gonna be needing. The first thing is our character. So let's write down a character. Our character is gonna have a couple of very obvious and very basic things like footsteps. We're gonna have some breathing. We're gonna have some vocal gestures in the case that, you know, you're jumping, you get hit, things like that. Things that will make you say something or make a noise. That's gonna be in there as well. We're also gonna have some gun handling, maybe, we'll think about it. And we're gonna have some UI sounds. In the case of UI sounds, I'm talking about feedback for the player. This is things like the, the famous headshot callout from Counter-Strike or anything that will give the players some information about what's happening when what they're accomplishing or not. Say for example, low level of health. We're getting close to the target. We hit a, another player. All those things are gonna be UI sounds. They're gonna help us you know, get a, a sense of the game being more interactive than the real life would be. So next up on the list is gonna be weapons. And that will have its own set of sounds as well. First thing is handling. As you know, when you're playing a first person shooter, there's always some sort of noise when the gun is moving around, when you're reloading, when you're getting ready. So all these things are gonna be good to have. We also have a firing sound when, the, when you shoot and Another set of UI sounds for this, say for example if you get a new gun or if you get an upgrade, anything like that will be a good thing to have in, in weapons. And the last thing we're gonna be doing is gonna be the environment. In this case we're gonna have our potato that we have to protect or destroy. We're gonna have projectiles when they hit different surfaces or when they hit another character for example that's gonna have a sound. We're also gonna have wind sounds, the flags, they move, plants that move, any torches or fire. That's also gonna be making some sounds. Since it's a medieval castle type setting, we're probably gonna find some of that. 
I'm sure something else will be coming up as we start making some progress in this, but for now, this will be fine. One more thing that I would like to add here is UI sounds in a category of its own, because in here we're going to be needing things like menus, maps, something like, I don't know, you know, loading screens if they have any sounds, or interactions with the map. In the case of interacting with the map, let's say there's a door that you can open, but there's a different door that you're not allowed to open. There's going to be a little UI sound for that, and we want to throw that in, in, you know, to make the experience more complete. So after we take this list to the, to the team, and we start discussing about what other things we want to add, if maybe we want to take something away, and any special plans that they have for the game, we will have a very, a very big list of things to do. <laughs> but now that we know what the game needs, we can go ahead and start sourcing all sorts of things, recordings, materials, so that we can make all the sounds for the game. Now, make sure to uh, disrespect your surrounding button so you can get notified of the next video when it comes out. And in the meantime, go get some sunlight. I'm a sound designer for video games, and today we're going to be talking pre-production. What? T t seriously? Really? Are we going to be on camera? Yeah? Is this what you want? To be a YouTube person cat thingy? Yeah? Oh, shut up. You want to be on YouTube or no? No. This is my life.